Hey Point family, uh, Nick here. It's Sunday evening and I was just sitting and uh, thinking a little bit about how awesome this morning was to be together. Super encouraged by our time. Um, so moved by what Sandra shared about her heart for foster care. Um, even how God used Amy Hill, who uh, does foster care here in our body, to point us to Hope Packs. And then for all of you guys showing up with the goods so that we could pack these bags and get them to the foster kids. And as Tim uh, Gillen shared, I mean, such a need, such a timely opportunity to minister to people in a very specific and strategic way. And also just knowing that this is, uh, this is our Father's heart. He cares for the widow, the orphan, in their distress. He tells us we should. Um, as we reflect his heart. And so I was super encouraged by all that. Um, just wanted to really quickly shoot this as we are wrapping up this Sunday and thinking about next Sunday. Today was a fourth Sunday, and next Sunday, which is a holiday weekend, is actually a fifth Sunday. And the fifth Sunday of the month is the, is the day that we uh, don't do a typical sermon. So it's kind of one of those funny things that's going to happen when we have a fourth Sunday and a fifth Sunday. We'll have back-to-back -back weeks that look a little different uh, than the first three weeks of the month. And that means that this Sunday, a fifth Sunday, we have time for people to share stories of how God's at work. Uh, we have invite people to share, how do you see God working? How do you see God moving? How do you see God stirring? And uh, one of the things that we want to encourage is that we know that we are trying not to just know information about God, not just to you know, learn more facts and be more knowledgeable about God, but knowing Him personally, hearing His voice and, and responding in obedience. And so even today, like serving the foster community, that was us listening, sensing God was telling us to lean into that. And then we did. And as a result, we actually got to see and hear that that was exactly what God um, wanted us to do and what those ministries needed, specifically Hope Packs, who shot this, this, you know, the email to us that said, this, is, this couldn't come in a better time. And this is an age group that really desperately needs help. Um, and so, see, God works and he's always working and we get to join him in his work when we listen and we respond. So here's a request. If you have something you'd love to share, you sense God's putting it on your heart, then we want to invite you just to reach out. You can reach out to Aaron uh, Negron if you don't have his contact information. One easy way is just to message us at connect at pointaustin.org. Uh, and Aaron, and he'll be collecting some of those names. Also, uh, you can message JT at pointaustin.org or Sandra at pointaustin.org. But if you'll just message us, we will make sure that people know that, those, that, that we are prepared, that you know what to do in terms of next week and sharing. So that's what's going on. And then next Sunday, come prepared to hear how God's at work and be encouraged by what God's doing in this, this body called Point Community Church, this family of Jesus followers. I uh, can't, can't wait uh, to hear how God's going to work and move in that um, and just want to, to remind you of that. So this week, let's be listening. Let's be responding. Let's be obeying what Jesus has said and what his spirit is leading us to do. Let's be in the word. Let's not just you know talk about the word, but let's be in the word and listening to what God's saying through the word. Um, it will radically change who we are. And then let's look around us and see who does God want us to love? Who does God want us to serve? Who does God want us to care about? Um, on, you know, every single one of us can't do it for everybody, but we can do it for whoever's in front of us and whoever God puts us, puts on our heart. And so we want to be a family that loves one another, but we want to also love the people outside the family of God. And so, um, I'm so encouraged to see that mark of love increasing in this body, uh, on a daily basis, on a week by week basis. And I hear stories about that exact thing. So we love you church family. Have a great week and don't forget to reach out to us. If you feel stirred to, um, to share a story of how you've heard God speak and how you respond in obedience, and it doesn't have to all be pretty and clean and all figured out and all, you know, finalized and wrapped up and all that stuff. If it, may, it may still be in process. That's okay. In fact, some of those stories are encouraging. Um, but just when did you hear God and how are you moving in obedience to what he said? All right. Be blessed. Talk to you soon. Bye.